Sharks are fascinating animals with many unique characteristics that other animals don't have. But is everything you hear about sharks true? Today I'm going to explain the top 5 myths about sharks that people still believe. It is one of the most frightening headlines on the news in the summertime, a shark attack. Since shark attacks are so hyped up on the summer news, you must think that these animals target humans as a food source. But that isn't true at all. In fact, sharks try all they can to avoid human interactions, as most shark attacks are a case of mistaken identity and water with limited visibility. Another cause for shark attacks is when the shark is provoked. This can happen when there is fishing happening in the area, or a diver gets a little too close for the shark's liking. It is a common myth that goes back to the 19th century. Everybody had the assumption that sharks have to keep moving to be able to breathe. While this is the case with many sharks like the great white or mako shark, many other species of shark like the nurse and lemming shark are able to keep breathing while resting on the sea floor. This is because pelagic sharks like the great white have to force water through their gills by continuously swimming or else they will drown underwater. But other species of shark like the lemming shark are able to rest on the sea floor while being able to breathe. They do this by a process called buckle pumping, so not all sharks have to keep moving in order to breathe. While sharks are very efficient hunters and are thought to be the alpha predator of the sea, they aren't quite as safe as you might think. Sharks have many ocean predators to look out for, including humans. The main predator of sharks are humans. While around 8 people are killed by sharks every year, over 100 million sharks are killed by humans every year for the shark fin trade. This means that sharks are at a threat to go extinct, all because of humans. Other predators sharks have to look out for are orcas, parasitic creatures, and other species of shark. While this fact is true for most species of shark, there are a few species of shark that can survive in fresh water. An example of this is the bull shark. This species does spend most of its life in the ocean, but it can survive in fresh water as well. Bull sharks will travel up rivers hundreds of miles to serve as a breeding ground. One bull shark was even found up in the Mississippi River past St. Louis, Missouri. Other freshwater species include the Northern River Shark, the Spiritooth Shark, and the Ganges Shark. Sharks are usually always portrayed as primitive hunters with only one thing on their mind, to kill. But sharks' brains are way more sophisticated than this. Many different species of shark have demonstrated complex social behavior. Sharks also have some of the largest brains compared to body mass of any fish in the ocean. They also have a complex series of body language to communicate with other species of shark. Many studies have found that some species of shark are capable of learning just like mammals are. Researchers have even trained sharks to do special tasks for treats, much like a dolphin or a dog, proving that sharks are a very intelligent animal.